Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever Butler Blue vlog featuring the star himself, Butler Blue the Third, aka Trip. There he is. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Michael? Uh yeah, uh we've got uh El Dago in the back here. And he's pretty excited because um it's a B A T H day. And there's a reason why we spell that word out. Yeah. And we will insert that footage in camera noise. Hey Trip, do you wanna go take a bath? Wanna go to bath? You wanna get a bath? Whoa! You wanna get a bath? Let's go get a bath. You missed the door. Go we'll get a bath. Ready to go get a bath? Let's go. Chippy, you want to get a bath? Let's get a bath. Who's ready for a bath? Who's a good boy that's ready for a bath? Okay. So yeah, you can see he gets pretty excited about that. And um, yeah, so it's, it's B-A-T-H day. And it's also International Day of Happiness. Right. And the first day of spring. Right. Well, when you guys watch it, those that day will be long gone. But, right, today is Wednesday. But for us, it's it's that time. And so what a great day to launch a vlog. So and we're going to bring you the Butler Blue vlog. So we're starting with a crowd favorite, bath time. That's right. Um, but we're also going to partner with a Q&A. So yesterday, mm -hmm. Trip tweeted out some questions, and you answered, and we have a list of questions. A lot of great questions. We're going to ask them. It's going to be a good time. Yep. And uh, it's going to be a great time. I think it'll be fun. So let's buckle up. Yep. Let's head to Good Dog Hotel and Spa, let's beautiful South Broad Ripple, and uh, let's get this guy wet. All right. Let's go. So we're leaving campus. We're in the official Butler Blue Mobile. Uh, made possible by Don Hines Ford. Thanks, guys. And I thought it'd be important we introduce Trip, but Trip can't talk. Um, so we kind of help him with that. So, Michael, do you want to introduce yourself first? Sure. Uh, I'm Michael Carlton Mark, uh, the director of external external relations for Butler University. It's easy for me to say. Uh, so I um, have been on the other end of the leash with regards to Butler Blue for about 15 years now. Um, but it's always been sort of another duty as assigned. In my current role as uh, Director of External Relations, of course I oversee the live mascot program, but I also do community and government relations for Butler University. Um, but yeah. Hinkle Field House. And the angels say. Hinkle. How about you, Evan? Hi. Talk about yourself. Hi, folks. My name is Evan Kraus. I have been working with Trip. now this is gonna blow your mind, for six years now. That's crazy. Um, Trip seven. Um, Evan was born uh, seven years ago. So. Nope, that's not true. I was born in the 90s. Um, <laughs> I graduated Butler in 2016, so that means I started working with Trip as a sophomore in college. Okay. Um, at the thing called Butler Blue Crew with about like 20 other students. That's right. And then I just never left. Um, I don't know if they've ever like officially blew Blue, me Blue Crew went away. Right. Ever never, Evan never did. No so. one told me, so I just, <laughs> kept, I just showing up. kept showing up. Um, so. What's your nick? You forgot your nickname. You got it. My nickname? Yeah. What people call you? They don't call you Michael when they are with Trip, right? Pops. Pops. I don't have a nickname. Uh, um, yeah, not yet. Not yet. That's fine. Um, we call Evan Ev Dog, Kraus Dog. I'm kind of like Trip's older brother at this point. Yep. Um, but I graduated Butler. Ccom. We were both Ccom. Um, I had digital media productions and strategic communications majors. They didn't really have that when I was there. Uh, I'm old, so I was a journalism and public relations major, which now would probably be Stratcom. Kind of, so. kind of the same thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been working with Trip for six years. I, I kind of do the behind the scenes stuff, a lot of the uh, graphics you see, photography, video, and we both kind of work with that. Yeah. My arm is getting very tired. <laughs> so this is, so our plan is to try to vlog every week. Um, yeah. We have other responsibilities. That's right. Um, so let's see, my arm is going to be ripped by the end of this. Um, but uh, but yeah, we want to bring you a weekly vlog. This is just a, sort of a new way to... Behind the scenes. Yeah, bring you the Butler Blue Live Mascot program, besides all the other things we do, sure. which um, most of you probably see on our various um, social media platforms. But this is just, you know, this is just helping us uh, get a little stronger footing on YouTube and maybe... Uh, show you some things that you haven't seen before so we hope you enjoy this let's get into some questions already okay okay let's do it all right okay i switched arms here okay. and there's doggo little dark 
I'm, I got a new camera for this, so I'm, I'm learning it. But he I think helps, we'll be good. He helps me drive back there. He He's does. A great backseat driver. Um, I have a. Oh, this is a nice shot. Okay, first question comes. So we asked from Twitter, at Butler Basketball HQ, ask what question do you get asked the most? Oh, well, I mean, people will ask. You know, is is this is this the real Butler Bulldog? And then they ask, um, how many of them do you have? Is he the only one? And yes, he is the real Butler Bulldog, and he is the only one we have. He's Butler Blue the third. And then, uh, you know, from there, um, you know, people tend to ask the usual stuff. Who does he go home with? How much does he weigh? What does he eat? Where does he live? All these things. Um, but then we get some crazy questions, and I don't want to give too many away. I think we're going to save some of the, these for a, a later vlog. But, um, <laughs> you know, people will say, uh, does he get to just roam around campus? And do you, I heard that they put an electric fence around the perimeter of campus and he just gets to roam. I mean, he's not a goat. Um, so no, that's not the case. And um, we get crazy stuff like that. And so, again, I don't want to give all the crazy stuff away because we'll save that for a later episode. But, you know, the usual, is that the only dog you have? Is he the real one? How much does he weigh? All those sorts of things. People are just curious, and that's okay. Also, uh, Chip's currently freaking out right now because he's smart enough to know that we are turning <laughs> on the road that Good Dog is off of. And he is turn on, fired up. Turn on the Winthrop. He's getting excited. All right, our next question comes from Katie. Katie wants to know, and this kind of goes along with the question we get asked a lot, um, do your human siblings call you Trip or Blue at uh, home? Call him Trip. So officially his name is Butler Blue the Third. His nickname is Trip. He responds to Trip, T-R-I-P. Trip is short for triple since he's the third. The reason we call him Trip is because Butler Blue the second, who we called Blue, also lived at my house. And so we had two Bulldogs, both named Butler Blue, living under one roof. So we already called one Blue. We had to give this guy here a nickname and Trip is the one uh, that stuck. So we have made it a good dog. What? Part of the sign's missing. That's sad. A good dog, a good dog is missing. Was he a bad dog? I don't know. But why are we at Good Dog specifically? Beautiful South Broderpool, Midtown Indianapolis. Because it's bat time and this is where we go. Uh, these guys got us started uh, on uh, the self-wash bathing system back in 2010. They reached out to us when uh, the Butler Men's basketball team made it to the Final Four in Indianapolis. They said, will you bring Blue the second over uh, so that we can clean them up before the big game? And I said, absolutely. And while we were here, they said, you know, if you ever want to come back and use the self-wash station, uh, you're welcome to. And I said, are you serious? And they said, sure. And so uh, here we are nine years later, still coming in about uh, once a week or once every other week. Have we won out our welcome yet? Bathing our dog for free. I don't know, but it's awesome. You can bring your dog here uh, for a nominal fee and uh, throw them in the self-wash tub. I mean, they have grooming services. They have daycare services, extended stay services. Uh, but we just use the self-wash and it's, it's glorious. Uh, I'm gonna back up. You're ready to, you're ready to lease? So this is why I asked if we've worn out our welcome because this is how our dog acts at the bath. Here we go. He's ready. Okay. People often ask me, does Trip like bath time? Oh, they're, move, they're inside moving. They moved a fan for us. Okay. So they're preparing. They know how he the is. The coast looks clear. She is, she is moving. She Trip, moved the stool. They're getting it She's ready. the best. They they know, this coming. is awesome. Okay, I got the thumbs up. He has a Steady routine. cam activated. All right, Evan, Trip, are you ready? Let's go. Leave that one alone. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. You're not right. We have attracted the crowd. That was a tradition that started with Blue the second, and Trip has <laughs> proudly picked up where he left off. So that is one of Trip's bad habits he got from Blue too. Yes, that is one Trip saying. Where are you going? Amazing. All right, folks, we're going to take a little break here, and the questions just to kind of show you how bath time works. So Michael's getting, he's dressed up for some reason. I'm wearing a, uh, a windbreaker. Gotta go to the city county building today, do my other job. Uh, he doesn't usually dress like that. Butler. Yeah, I don't normally have to wear the, the community and government relations outfit, but today I did, which is nice for the vlog the debut. But uh, yeah, you're getting a look at the self-wash station at uh, Good Dog, uh, and our Good Dog is ready to be self-washed. So basically, I mean, they have a ramp, which you saw Trip riding on earlier. Uh, we don't typically use it. Usually Evan and I just use our muscle and get a good hold on this guy and just lift him in. And then once he's in, we'll kind of get him undressed and get him ready. 
Uh, he loves this, by the way. So. You look great, guy. One thing I forgot to do is put the mat in. Install our bath mat, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna do some behind the scenes, behind the scenes okay. of our behind the scenes. We need to post on Instagram. It's oh. been so. How can we forget? I don't know. We got to do our social media work too. So in addition to bathing a dog, shooting a vlog, we got to do some social media. Oh, portrait mode activated. <laughs> and this is my life. You know, explaining this job to my grandparents <laughs> was just a heck of a journey. So, oh, we have a great post for later. You guys will see it here before, oh, focus. You will see it here first and then see it on Instagram. It's gonna be glorious. Well, let's see it on Instagram first because we're not posting this yeah. till, like, till like Friday. And then it's, it's like a- Time travel. Yeah, it's, that's mental. So here we go. We have our, our, our good dog loaded up um, in the tub. They provide aprons. I think I'm ready. I'm never quite ready. Uh, I'll just turn on the water here. He knows what's coming. This is the, uh, the part that everyone loves. The Jaws moment. We always sort of have to get this part out of the way. This is going to be a fantastic thumbnail for our first vlog. Good boy. So at this point, uh, I'm basically going to let him take a few more sips because that's what he likes to do, and then I'm, I'm really going to let the water warm up and then really get a nice rinse going and just get all the dirt and oil uh, sort of rinsed off before we uh, get into the soaking section. And when we jump into the soaking section, uh, we'll jump into some more questions. So, here we go. Enjoy this royalty-free music. Time to get some more questions, I feel like. All right. So a good one is coming from Mary. Mary wants to know, how do you tweet without thumbs, Trip? How do you do it? It's a part of the text app. John asks us a good question that we get quite a bit up here for a little long. Is it true you're not allowed inside of Madison Square Garden for the Big East Tournament? That is not true. It is not true. So uh, he is allowed in Madison Square uh, Garden for the Big East Tournament, just as he was allowed in Wind Trust Arena for the women's Big East Tournament this year. Um, it's the NCAA Tournament where we run into trouble. So the NCAA rule is no live mascots unless you make the Final Four. And if you make the Final Four, then you can petition to uh, have your live mascot be allowed inside, which we've done twice, which is awesome. So, um, so yeah, no um, admittance to uh, NCAA Tournament sites until the Final Four. But that hasn't stopped us from traveling with uh, our line mascots when they go to destinations that are um, typically drivable for us. And, and recently, that's been places like Memphis and Milwaukee and Raleigh. Um, it's been a lot of fun to take the dog on the road. And even though the dog can't go to the game, we still have a lot of fun in those markets. And uh, I think really make a, a big impact. And people just can't help themselves and talk about how the dog can't go to the game. So it seems to work out for us. Another question comes from, um, these are interesting. I'm gonna say Putter Boy might be, oh, Putter Boy 1912. I'm um, really into that year as well as um, putting. Uh, he wants to know, and I think all three of us should answer. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite place to eat while on those road trips? Oh, oh that's a tough question. For me, I think Trips easy. Trips is easy. I think he loves a little uh, cop section in, in Milwaukee because he gets a nice dish of vanilla custard from Cops. So uh, I think that's easy for Trips. That's his favorite. Uh, what about you, Evan? What's so we didn't even go to my favorite ones at all this year. Um, that's okay. Um, but number number one is in Washington D.C. 
Hill Country Barbecue. Okay. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like a market inside of a restaurant where you like, I would like a pound of brisket. And then they give you a pound of brisket and you eat it. <laughs> um, not that I've done that. As well as the classic and the ever new news relevant in our city this week, Shake Shack. Oh yes, we're getting it. We're getting to Shake Shack in the airport. I'm gonna buy plane tickets. But, tip, but, but before, we could only get that in where? Like Washington DC? Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Um, so, amazing. So how about you, Michael? Um, so, mine comes with a little bit of an asterisk. I mean, I like all the things that Evan mentioned. Uh, I also like cops. Um, I don't know that, I think I have a favorite in each city. Sure. But, uh, uh, recently I had some doctor's orders to go vegan. We can cover that at another time. But uh, suffice to say, I've been following those doctor's orders. And so, that makes uh, dining out a little bit more difficult. So my favorite recently has been Chipotle. So Fritos for life. That's all I can have. So it, it, it's working out. This next question comes from one of our top fans. Oh boy. Uh, Cindy Krause. <laughs> Um, Evan's mom. My mom. Shout out to my mom, one of Trip's biggest supporters. She wants to know how many different outfits do you have, Trip? Not counting your vast collection of Halloween costumes. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. Because for the last week, I have been creating a catalog of all of Trip's costumes and wardrobe. I haven't counted, mom. Um, <laughs> but it's three pages long. Um, basically, single spaced of, of wardrobes. I'm gonna insert in camera noise a little live look of Tripp's new wardrobe from Ikea. It's um, nice. It's nice and it's full. So, and I still have a tub left to do. So, we, he has a tuxedo, he has top hats, he has Indy 11 jerseys, Colts t-shirts, and like six different Star Wars costumes. So it is quite massive. He filled a wardrobe and he still needs more space. Yeah, we need, some, we need to go to Target pretty oh, badly. Please. I know. Let's rinse. All right, so he's been, he has been properly bathed before drying, um, which we're not going to ask questions during because that's what we use to dry and it gets pretty loud. Let's, uh, let's get a few more questions in. Um, this is a good one. This required some research in our parts. Um, how many states have you visited? This comes from Steve. So we counted and just trip, not blue two. Uh, trip has visited the likes of 23 of the United States pretty, in America. 23, almost 50%. Almost yeah, that's no, pretty impressive. It's, uh, we made the map and it's basically um, it's part, neighboring states, Big East schools. East Coast, um, Eastern Seaboard. But 23 states. Another question comes from Mark. And Mark wants to know, how many gigs do you do a year with Trip? Uh, in the hundreds. I think in the hundreds. We don't really keep track, which is probably a shame. I mean, we could do some research. Basically, any event that he does, we log in our Outlook calendar, so we could probably track him down. But it's definitely in the hundreds. Um, it probably averages out uh, to be close to an appearance a day, uh, because some days we don't have any appearances, and other days we have multiple. And so uh, it's quite a bit. But Trip would have it go the way because he loves to work. I mean, this is this is his role, is all he knows, and he thrives on it. So yeah, it's probably well into the hundreds. It's dry time.
So while you're working on his ears, you gotta get the potato farm cleaned out in there as well as the tail pocket. That's right. Let's answer some more questions. Okay. All right, from Mary. Mary wants to know, did you go through any special training or were you born wonderful? <laughs> oh. Wonderful Mary, is a great term. Mary's giving you a lot of credit, Tristan. Uh, he was born wonderful, but he did uh, get quite a bit of training as a pup. He went to um, good, uh, excuse me, Bark Tudor in Broad Ripple uh, for some training. So he did his puppy training, his puppy class, and then he did basic obedience uh, training. And um, and then we followed that up with um, canine good citizen training. So he is um, an AKC registered canine good citizen. And that's about as far as we took it. And, um, He's smart, he knows all of his training, but whether he actually decides to obey and, and listen and respond to his training is a whole nother story. So, we'll leave it at that. Aunt B, very faithful supporter of Trip, yep. wants to know if Trip goes on vacation with Pops and family. Oh. And don't forget, Pops, that guy, this guy, just, Ev yeah, Evan. I'm the camera right now, Evan. Evan. I'm Pops. That's Pops. So sometimes we take uh, the beast on vacation, but um, with two young uh, sons of my own, it's getting tough to, to wrangle everybody. So um, now that we have Evan, we can sort of get away on vacation and um, leave Trip with Evan. So that's, that's what we're doing next week, actually. Gonna yeah, Trip's going to spend a week at the Krauss house, so I'm sure you'll yeah. see some of that on the blog. The call marks are going on spring break and, and leaving Trip behind. Don't, don't, don't worry, we'll be back. And uh, he's going to go on his own little vacation to the Kraus house, so it, it all works out. Two questions back to back. Uh, first one comes from Tammy. How's your ACL doing, Trip? and do you still do water therapy? ACL is great. Um, no issues there. Uh, this is the only form of water therapy he gets these days. Um, the, people, the great people at Medved Indianapolis took really good care of this guy a couple years ago when he tore his ACL. Uh, and then had to do uh, the water treadmill therapy. Um, it was uh, a really good process. They took really great care of him. He uh, healed up very quickly, and now you would never know it, it, it even happened. He's almost, he, well, he is bionic, and uh, he's almost stronger than he was before. They put him back together and made him stronger, um, which, is, which is good for Trip, sometimes bad for uh, us. But uh, yeah, so he's doing, he's doing really well. To follow that up, Shannon wants to know, well she says, Chip, people are just feeding his ego today. You're so special. So you have, do you have a regular veterinary regiment to keep you on, in tip top shape? Oh, well, Trip uh, gets great care from uh, Dr. Kurt Phillips at uh, Cityway Animal Clinic. So Kurt is a, a 1992 Butler grad. He's been taking care of the Butler Bulldogs since day one. And Kurt owns three practices in town, uh, Mass Ave Animal Clinic, Fountain Square Animal Clinic, and um, oh, uh, Fall Creek Place Animal Clinic. And uh, we've seen uh, Dr. Phillips and his staff at all three locations, and uh, they take really good care of them. We try not to go in there unless we need to go in there. So uh, fortunately, uh, he's been very healthy, and uh, especially for a bulldog, and so, um, other than uh, sort of the, the annual exam, uh, we try to stay out of there. Now, they're at our beck and call if we need them, but um, thankfully, with this guy, we haven't needed them too much. So, can't say uh, enough about those guys at Cityway Animal Clinics. They do a great job, and we're really grateful for their care. Please don't hurt your back. Oh. Like we said, Trip is 65 pounds. <laughs> of muscle. All right, got the beast out. Just do a little bit more drying, a little towel drying, usually in the undercarriage here. He smells a lot better. He does smell a lot better. His white is popping. He's looking better. He's, he's feeling better. He's blown out the exposure so much because his white fur is looking <laughs> so good. Do a white balance off this, this fur. Step in. So we'll get Trip back in his butler best. If you, we do get this question a lot. We didn't get it this time around. But if you want to know how to have your dog look the part, these two items can be found in the Butler Bookstore, which are linked in the description below. This one's dirty. We need a new one. We do need a new one. The Butler Harness 
collar and leash. Leash. Um, there's also bandanas there, as well as um, bandanas if you join the kids club. Ooh. Or the Canines Club. Blues Buddies. Blues Buddies. That's a uh, link down in the description. You can check that out. Yeah, there's a bunch of links in the description. That's one. Um, but yeah, you, you want your dog to look like Trip. Am I right? I mean, yeah. So, so, well, so link down in the description. Uh, what's the last thing we always do when we go so to Good Dog? So whenever we go to Good Dog, uh, we get Trip a bath, and then we finish it by going to look at the puppy room to see what doggos are hanging out at the daycare today. So. They have a puppy room. Let's go check it out. Is the mas the mascot of Good Dog is also here? We will yeah, show. There's Tiki holding it down. I don't know if Tiki got upset that Trip was here today. Hi, Tiki. He's not in a good mood. He's today. not in a good mood. He had some people. Yes. Uh, when is Tiki yeah. in a good mood? Yes, <laughs> That's a good point. Work done. Yes, he did. He had he, some dental work done. So as you can see, he's he's missing a couple of teeth right there in the middle. He could probably use some more dental work. <laughs> Do we have any puppies today? Oh, yeah, we got some little doggos. Oh, this is a new squad. Yep. I don't know if I've recognized any of these puppies. This is uh, part part of the um, handbag squad. Dogs you can fit in your handbag. Yeah, those three definitely. All right, let's see if my zoom works. Oh, oh we no, go. we don't need to work on the zoom. Here we Look go. at this little fluffy They're guy. come to you. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and then, of course, the bigger dogs. The big Look dogs. at the zoom. Zoom power. The bigger dogs are in the back there. I just like how the big dogs just don't care about these little guys. And then this guy. Look at him. What a guy. We are back in the Blue Mobile. The beast is washed, dried, properly pampered. The puppy room was visited. We answered questions. We, we saw Tiki. That's a good day. It's a really good day. I and think we should answer one more question. And we recorded it for we a did. So I mean, It's here forever. Yes. But we have one more question. Okay. Um, it's a good ending question. It's Play a nice it way. Um, from in New NJ NJ is New Jersey Shore Girl. That's the assumption I'm making okay. there. She wants to know if you could talk. What would you tell your fans, Trip? And you're gonna answer Trip like you have in all of these. Okay. Uh, I think if Trip could could verbalize um, his appreciation for his fans, I think I think he would say thank you, and not just thank you for you know being awesome, but thank you for. You know, making him the most spoiled dog on the planet. Uh, this guy loves his job. He loves to work, and uh, you all support that and make that possible. And so I think he is really grateful, whether he often shows it or not. Um, at least I think we feel that way. So I know I do. Yeah. So, so thank, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So um, yeah, that's our first vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna try to do this once a week. So if you would um, subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That'd be really good. Like it. Uh, like this video. Maybe share it. That'd be nice. Sure. And then uh, there's a comment section below. And we would love for you to um, leave us a comment. It could be something about this video. But maybe you have ideas for future episodes yep. of the Butler Blue Vlog. What do you want to see? We're an open program. We would entertain those uh, suggestions and uh, really appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, make sure you follow Trip on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, basically anything but LinkedIn. Um, <laughs> at Butler Blue the third, Butler Blue the number three. Yep. So the the three. Do that. Be without the line. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, go, go dogs. dogs.